You mentioned uh, right before we went live that there's a spe- we're a special anniversary or what? Not special anniversary. You're 100 <laughs> days away from a special day. Sorry, did you get me a gift, Gordon? Are you talking about anniversaries? I didn't get you a gift. No, we're no, no. 100 days. 100 days from the World Indoor Championships in Belgrade. That is the marker. You know what that means? That's 100 days for people to hit time qualifiers. And I have a new list. It's a list of who has the indoor standards. You can bring this uh, screen up right now. You can look at the standards. It's kind of unique for indoors where you can kind of qualify with an indoor mark or even an outdoor mark that is much faster, but they just don't want to force people to have to, who are coming off a fast outdoor season, to have to squeeze in another fast indoor just because of time constraints. So when you look at this, a lot of the top sprinters basically have already qualified because if you are a sub 10, 10 runner or a sub 11, 15 runner at any point in 2021, you're going to have yeah. a sick, you're going to qualify. Uh, so the big question, which I have up on the, on my new updated list of world athletics, indoor standard list is trying to see what event are we kind of the most limited in? And I was looking at it. And the event that kind of pops to me is the men's, once again, the men's 1500. Because right now, only five men have the standard. That is Cooper Tier, Cole Hawker, Sam Prakel, Craig Engels, and Johnny Gregoric. You don't see a Yard Nagus on there. You don't see a Matthew Sensuitz. Um, I think that's going to be the event to watch to see new people added to the list to make sure they have the standard. Uh, what do you think? Do, do you see any other event? I mean, the women's distance, there's only three women with the 3K standard. El Perrier, Emma mm-hmm. Coburn, and Alicia Monson, and then no one else. So that's going to be a, a wide-open race. Same thing with, like, the 1500. There's some. There's only, what, seven women with the 1500. Uh, so I'll be excited to see people try to chase especially in those 15 3K events. Yeah, I think the the 15 is just always something that eludes U.S. athletes on the men's side. I think that's going to continue to be a problem. I can see more women getting it in the 3K. But it's tough because we just don't know who's actually going to run. So you can say, oh, Centro doesn't have it, but probably isn't running indoors. Or if he is, he's not going to run uh, with the intent of qualifying and going over to, to Belgrade to compete. That's just an assumption. I don't know. And if it's not central, it's somebody else who's a big name who, who may not compete. It's hard to know who's actually going to, to run. Uh,